Good afternoon, meteorologist Craig Setzer and CBS4 Weather Control. I know a lot of folks are busy. A lot is going on. There's a lot of anxiety uh, we're feeling here in South Florida. And uh, if you were with us two years ago for Irma in 2017, we got to a point where it felt like the tension level was so high. I literally said, and I need to say it again, everybody just take a breath, take a breath. And let's just try to um, relax a little bit. I know the anxiety is really, really high, and it's amazing. You go out, and everybody is talking about the storm. Everybody is discussing the models, and we'll discuss the models too. But, uh, but this is not coming here tonight or tomorrow, so we have some time. So everybody, uh, we'll just just relax a little bit. And, and honestly, I'm kind of saying it for myself too. So let's show you the latest. Here's the two o'clock intermediate advisory, the intermediate advisory that's now every three hours. Uh, at 2 p.m. and then the next intermediate advisor will be at 8 p.m. This is just an update on the position and the location. And a couple of things I want to point out here. First uh, is the latitude there. The latitude is that 24.8 number and 24.8 is this number right up here. So that's the number that it goes up, uh, means that it's getting farther and farther north, and we want that number to keep going up and keep going up at a good clip. We want it above 26. In fact, if it's above 27, that'll be much, much farther north uh, with our latitude, and that will be a good thing. So that number we're watching. Also uh, new but not significant with this advisory is the wind speed there, 115 miles an hour. That makes it Category 3. That was in the forecast, so no surprises there. We expected that. The storm is now 445 miles or so east of the northwest Bahamas. Now here's the future track and the future track uh, continues this slow curve here. We're already in part of the turn here but now it continues it to the west and west northwest and this is our Saturday evening time frame. So all of these points are slowing down just a little bit as far as how close and how quickly it gets to Florida. Here's our Sunday morning position. Here's our Monday morning position there. This is the Northwest Bahamas, so uh, through the Northwest Bahamas. And then this is our Tuesday morning position. And as I mentioned earlier, that three is because that forecast points over land. It's not a weakening of the storm approaching us. It's a weakening after it gets over land. And then look what happens, and we've talked about this also. There's a sudden point change up to the north there, it's still winding down. So this turn here is showing up in all the models, but the big question mark is, does this turn occur after it gets to South Florida and then goes north? Does this turn as it reaches South Florida and then goes north? Or does this turn occur out here and then it goes north? Because many of the models are indicating that turn is going to be rather abrupt. Now obviously a faster storm gets to Florida sooner and uh, then it turns or a slower storm may not get to Florida before it turns and those are two of the considerations that we're watching. Now uh, because new model data is coming in I'd like to show it to you because uh, I'm not going to hide anything. People uh, text me and call me and they're like what, what do you know? What's the real story? I'd say tune in at three and I'll show you the real story. I'm telling you everything. I'm telling my friends, my family, uh, people here at the station what's going on. There's no, no hiding what's going on. Here's the uh, models for 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here we go through time. There's the European model and there's the GFS model. This is 3 p.m. Monday afternoon. So you can see they're in better agreement, much better than they've been now. That's good. We like that because it increases confidence. But the main thing to note, and I'm actually going to draw this for you, is that the European model no longer has that southwest turn. This run, and in fact the last one, kind of showed more of a west or a west-northwest motion. We like that because that southwest turn, that was a scary thing to think that it could be getting higher and then come back to the south and then come up at us. This is one run now. We want to see three more of these type of runs before we start feeling better here. And the difference between where it is here and where it is there is about 100 miles, and that is too close to call. So the new model is now going ahead in time. This is 3 p.m. on Monday, going into 4 a.m. on Tuesday. The European model still has it right about there. It's basically stalled just to our east. The GFS model is a little bit more to the north now on Tuesday morning. And now watch what happens. Both models begin a northward pull. So the big question is, is are you going to buy this model? And if you do, you're taking a big risk because we've only seen one run of this model that's a little bit offshore. Or are you going to continue to prepare? I am putting up my shutters tomorrow because I'm not betting my house 
that this model is going to be better than this model here. And so don't buy into one model. Don't say, oh, it's going to miss us, because we just don't know that yet. And it takes me a while to put up my shutters, and it takes me a while to top off my supplies and things like that. There may come a point in time as we go through the weekend where we say we can pause our preparations, but now is not the time for that. This is too close to call at this point. And the thing is, if you're talking about a compact Category 4, you're, you've either got windy conditions with rain or you've got a hurricane and a bad hurricane. And it's just too close to call at this point. So my message to everybody here at the station, my message to all my friends, my message to all of you, is we continue to prepare until we see a more confident resolution that this is not coming here to South Florida. I talked to a friend this morning and he said, he said, I don't think it's gonna hit, but I got gas, I got water, and I took care of my home. And I said, you did the right thing. It's great that you think it's not going to come here, but you're prepared that it will come here. And that's the way we all need to think. So we'll keep you up to date. We'll give you the latest uh, news conferences and the latest information. This is the newest run on the European model here. I'll bring it all to you and, uh, and break in as necessary. But of course, uh, we want you to be safe. We want us to be safe. We all live here in South Florida. We're all dealing with this together, okay? 